Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to our KRQE.com webcast. I'm Deanna Sauceta. We begin with meteorologist John Smith in the forecast. Hi, John. Hi, Deanna. We continue with lots of sunshine across the entire state as the temperatures continue to rise, and they'll continue to go up all the way through the upcoming weekend. But then things start to get a little tricky as we move through the weekend. We watch a disturbance go through the southeastern part of the state. That could kick a couple of spot showers over the southeast. But the much bigger story is the big time storm moving toward New Mexico. This one will arrive late Sunday and into Monday. Out ahead of it, the temperatures will start to drop. We're looking at temperatures to go down by about 20 to 25 degrees out ahead of the system. And then once the system comes in, we're looking for high elevation snow and low elevation showers. It's definitely going to be a messy start to next week. A federal judge has sentenced an illegal Salvadorian immigrant to 35 years in prison for his part in the shooting death of a Denny's cook. Pablo de Leon Ortiz took a deal last year and pleaded guilty to murder. He and two other men held up the Denny restaurant on Coors and Isla back in June 2009. During the robbery, one of them slipped and dropped his gun, which fired and killed the cook there, Stephanie Anderson. That gunman, Marvin Lopez Aguilar, is also charged with murder. Francisco Melgar Cabrera is still on the run. A win-win on the golf course, UNM's controversial North Golf Course, that is. Last night, Bernalillo County Commissioners unanimously approved a move to negotiate with UNM to develop the 80-acre course as open space. The deal would cost $1.5 million and protect the course from development for 25 years. In exchange, the county would put in a new irrigation system, walking trails, and also plant some trees. We'll stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates throughout the day. Have a great day, everybody.